Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will see how to delete book using Oxios. If you have not our previous video about the post then please watch it. The link is in description. Before going further let's demo quickly whatever we developed till now. See here when I am clicking on delete button nothing is happening. Let's implement the delete functionality. First, let's open files which are we going to modify. Increase the font so it will more clear to view. Here is the delete button. Let's add on click attribute. Now bind a function. So here function name is delete book. And pass this in book ID. Now let's create delete book function. See here I am using an arrow function. Add semicolon also at the end. Let's alert the book ID when I click on the delete button. Let's try and alert book ID is coming or not. See it is coming. Now let's add Oxios delete related code. Here along with the URL, we will add book ID as well. Now let's capture the response. Add a simple condition like if the response is not null then show the alert message, a message like a book deleted successfully. Let's try now that book is deleting or not. See delete message is coming, but the book list is not refreshing. See this book is deleted, but not showing any changes in the book list table. So click on add book and then click on the book list. See the last record is not showing. That means it deleted. Now let's see how to refresh book list after deleting any book. So here basically we need to remove book ID from state books array. So let's see how to do that. So basically here we are filtering the books array and adding back to book array whichever ID is not equal to clicked book ID. Let's try now. See it is working. See after delete now row also removing from the book list. Ok now this is done. Now let's see how to replace alert message to toast message. Let's open the book.js file. Now let's copy toast related code. Let's copy show related code. Now let's copy timeout function. Now remove this alert message. Copy the else condition also. Now let's copy my toast related code also. Before paste let's add a div element. Now let's paste, move this card to inside the div. Change the success message to delete the message. Copy this import also. Let's try now, so instead of alert message now toast should come for delete. See it is coming, but green toast is coming, it should be red. So if we add book then green toast and if we delete book then red toast, let's see how to achieve this. Let's add type also inside the children list. Value let's say the danger, let's copy this and paste it in book.js also. Now based on this type we will replace the CSS classes in my toast component. Let's move this text white class. Now using this back quote we can add condition also for these CSS class name. Let's add a condition based on the type.
so if it is success and success related classes otherwise danger related classes. Add a similar condition for toast header also. I hope you can understand this. Let's try now, is it working or not? It's working but text white CSS class is not applying. Because here a double quote is now required, so let's remove. Now let's try again, let's add new book first. Still for this case danger toast is coming. Ok delete toast is perfect, let's check why for save dander toast is coming. Let's check, in book.js file. Oops here also we are keeping danger, let's replace this with success, let's try again. Let's add a new book. See now it is perfect. See for both the cases different kind of toast is coming, see I added 5 more books, let's delete one by one. See it is working, only thing is it is directly deleting, ideally, it should first ask for the confirmation, so confirmation related logic we will add in, coming video, but for now, delete is working fine. Let's review whatever we added. I checked my changes to git, I will show you from where you can find these. Here is the repository. Here are the changes. That's it for this video, in the next video, we will see about edit functionality. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.